Time now for the morning rush. Images of trouble in Afghanistan are hitting close to home for the Afghan community here in New Mexico. Now it's difficult for Mullah Akbar to watch what's unfolding in the now Taliban controlled country of Afghanistan. Akbar says that seeing the video makes him feel helpless and wonders what the last 20 years were for. Afghan refugees reportedly started arriving over the weekend in Doniana County. Our sister station KTSM says that at least three flights arrived at Fort Bliss in El Paso yesterday. Refugees were then bused to a facility in Doniana County that is run by Fort Bliss. Some local churches are already pushing back against the state's updated public health order to wear masks indoors. Both Legacy and Citizen Churches in Albuquerque will not be enforcing the reinstated indoor mask mandate. Legacy's pastor encouraged his congregants to disregard the state's COVID protocols altogether. We did reach out to the governor's office for a response. We've yet to hear back. A nonprofit organization based out of Corrales that is helping stock food banks with fresh produce throughout Bernalillo and Sandoval counties will now be seeing some big changes. The president of the nonprofit says that even with the COVID drought and freezing temperatures, they are still seeing a record year with their harvest. See to need is always looking for volunteers. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. Temperatures are in the mid 60s this morning, so it's comfortable out there. No need for the extra layers by this afternoon. We'll be in the upper 80s with storms getting ready to brew by the mid to late afternoon and evening hours. Farmers along the Rio Grande in central New Mexico will be facing a second straight year of early water cutoffs. On Friday, the middle Rio Grande Conservancy District voted to end deliveries for irrigation a month early because of low water availability. The October 1st shutoff means that winter crops are now at risk. The FDA may approve the Pfizer two dose COVID vaccine today, according to the New York Times. Now, if Pfizer gets the green light, it'll be the first vaccine to go from emergency use to having the full FDA approval. The news also comes as more companies are requiring employees to get the vaccine in order to return to work. The CDC recently updated its travel recommendations, saying those with increased health risks should not travel on cruise ships, even if they are fully vaccinated. That does include adults with underlying medical conditions and those with weakened immune systems or those taking medications causing immune system suppression. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. Low to moderate today, we will have a chance for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms during the late afternoon and evening hours. This morning, Santa Fe police are looking for who's responsible for setting fire to a 21 foot tall sculpture outside of a downtown art gallery. The Santa Fe New Mexican says that fire crews first responded to the fire around 1130 on Saturday night. This was at the form and concept art gallery. Anyone with information is asked to call Santa Fe police. The State Department was recently hit by a cyber attack. The Department of Defense Cyber Command has made notifications about a possible serious breach. It's believed to have happened a couple of weeks ago. The department reportedly has not experienced significant disruptions. Balloon Fiesta is back in the record books this morning. Fiesta organizers say that they were looking for ways to promote the event. And after checking 2019 records, they realized that they had a shot at the record for the most balloon launches. They ended up being 524 balloons launched from Balloon Fiesta Park. Erica. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. The maps are looking clear this morning. No accidents or slowdowns as of now. And here's a look at Tracker. Currently going west on I-40 near San Mateo, looking at Mostly sunny skies and the roads are moving nicely. Well, dozens of capybaras have descended on an upscale neighborhood in Argentina, starting to cause problems as their friendly nature has now turned to complicated. The growth of the population is now leading to traffic accidents and attacks on pets. As of right now, they are still deciding on plans on how to get the giant rodents out of the neighborhood. On this day in 1911, 3.96 inches of rain fell in San Juan. That's in eastern New Mexico. That was the highest one day rainfall total in that location. And time now for the five facts. At number five this morning, Balloon Fiesta is back in the record books and uh, Fiesta organizers say that they were looking for ways to promote the event. And after checking the 2019 records, they realized that they had a shot at the record for the most balloon launches. Well, that ended up being 524 balloons launched from Balloon Fiesta Park. The previous record holder was an event in France with more than 400 balloons. This year's event is set to start on October 2nd, featuring more than 500 hot air balloons. Number four, a nonprofit organization based out of Corrales, helping stock food banks with fresh produce throughout Bernalillo and Sandoval counties, will be seeing some big changes soon. The president of the nonprofit says even with COVID, drought, and freezing temps, they are still seeing a record year with their harvest. The group also credits their founders with their success. A few of their founders are set to retire soon. See to need, though, is also looking for volunteers. If you want more details on how to volunteer, go to our website, krqe.com. And at number three, we do have some rain out there this morning. We're seeing that in the East Plains, all south of I-40, 
just moving east of the mountains. So you're seeing light sprinkles in mountain air, some light sprinkles in Socorro. Heavier rain over US 54 from about Carrizozo to Vaughn. Number two now, some local churches are already pushing back against the state's updated public health order to wear masks indoors. Both Legacy and Citizen Churches in, in Albuquerque are not hiding their message that they will not be enforcing that the reinstated indoor mask mandate, regardless of a person's vaccination status. Pastor Steve Smotherman from Legacy Church went on to encourage his congregation congregation to disregard the state's COVID protocols altogether. The governor's office did not respond. And the number one images of the trouble in Afghanistan are hitting close to home for one community here in New Mexico. That's the Afghan community. Difficult for Mullah Akbar to watch what's unfolding now in the Taliban controlled country of Afghanistan. He's lived here since the mid 90s, but his work as a U.S. diplomat allowed him to travel back and forth between here and that country. Akbar says seeing the video makes him feel helpless and wonders what the last 20 years were for.